Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mark, author, speaker, inventor, and endoscopic spinal surgeon. I would like to just talk about something that I saw earlier, this, actually earlier in the year. It was an article that came out of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons uh, meeting in New Orleans of this year. And it was an interesting article that talked about treating chronic low back pain in the age group of 65 years of age and older. So essentially the Medicare age group. Well, one thing you might be curious about is how often does low back pain occur in this population? And uh, it occurs in 1.5 million people of the 50 million enrollees. So really about 3%. I might also mention that chronic low back pain is considered to be the second most disabling condition in the United States in that age group, second only to arthritis. Well, the study was set up for statistically matched age participants, and it evaluated people who were treated with a TENS unit uh, and those who were not, uh, who had a condition of low back pain. Well, at this point, I should probably mention what TENS, T-E-N-S, actually stands for, and it's stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. So this is an electrical, small electrical current uh, powered by some batteries that goes out to some electrodes that are pasted on your skin. The TENS unit itself can actually modulate the bandwidth of the electrical pulse, the frequency, and the intensity of the electrical stimulation as well. Conceptually, you might wonder, well, how does something like a small electrical shock or electrical stimulation block pain? Well, it's really uh, something that you do or you've experienced before, but not quite in the same reference. And that is, if you bang your knee on a table or a, a wall or something like that, the first thing that you want to do is kind of rub the knee. Well, when you're rubbing it, you're providing light stimulation to the fibers, nerve fibers that are able to block the deeper pain fiber uh, sensations. And that's exactly what the TENS unit does. It's providing some very light stimulation to the superficial nerves. And in the process, uh, when it's working properly, it's going to diminish or lower the uh, stimulation of the deeper, more painful nerves. So you already understand the concept behind a TENS unit. The study referenced in the article in the journal was performed by Michael Minshall who is a Masters of Public Health. And he essentially got these two age or statistically matched groups and noticed that in the group that had TENS units, that they went to the clinic less often, they ended up in the hospital less often, they had less diagnostic studies and less back pain as well as less surgery. I might also mention that Michael Minshall is an employee of Don Joy Global that sells numerous uh, orthopedic and appliances in general. So what about past studies about TENS units? Well, past studies demonstrate, some studies show some benefit. Others, probably of a higher quality, demonstrated poor quality studies and thus an inability to draw a conclusion about TENS units. So my take on it is this. If you have chronic low back pain and it doesn't require surgery, then I think trying a TENS unit could be possibly beneficial to you. I think that the only risk would be to your wallet. So if you can get rid of your pain with something as simple as a TENS unit, I think it might be worth a try. I hope you enjoyed this little video presentation. If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at the office. Uh, I'd be delighted to uh, answer any questions you might have and uh, look forward to having you look at the next video I make. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.